Pneumococcal disease is a huge global health problem. It kills a child somewhere in the world every 30 seconds. The price of inaction is staggering. We see a lot of pneumococcal diseases and many of them come from far away. They come to the hospital when they are seriously sick. Other than vaccines, we have no other solution. We must invest in vaccines and bring them to children. Alaska. Bleakly beautiful, but for much of the year bitterly cold and remote from the rest of the world. Despite the harsh conditions, people eke out a living here by fishing and hunting. But for many years, they have been battling both nature and a disease that has killed thousands of young and old. When I first got here, we had lots of very ill children that we would see in the clinic in the wintertime come to the hospital, have to be put into the hospitals, have IVs started for serious things like pneumonia. Pneumococcal disease was to blame. A bacterial infection which causes pneumonia, meningitis and blood poisoning. 1.6 million people die from the disease every year. Most of them in the developing world and half of them children. And for many years, Alaska's poor Native American population had some of the highest rates of the disease in the world. In Alaska, pneumococcal disease has been a major problem. For years, we measured year after year high rates of disease among Alaska Native kids and kind of held up our hands wondering what we could do. But in the last four years, there has been a remarkable turnaround. Pneumococcal disease has been virtually wiped out in Alaska thanks to a new vaccine and people like Gina Carpenter. For 20 years, she has been a nurse in the Bristol Bay area, 400 miles from Alaska's capital Anchorage. She's responsible for the health of around 8,000 people, mostly Native American Yupik Eskimos scattered across 40,000 square miles. Okay, we're ready. She runs the region's immunization program and is at the forefront of the battle to control pneumococcal disease by ensuring the vaccine which prevents it reaches every child, even in the most isolated corners. And there's lots of logistical problems being able to deliver health care to regions like this. Obviously geography is one, distance is another, and weather can be really a factor. So the only way I can travel is by plane to bring vaccine here. 